Oh, and I believe I'm live and good evening everybody. This is my uh, newsletter. For, uh, this is November the 5th. You may hear big bangs outside and all sorts of noise. My wife is playing her music really loud in the other room to keep our dog from getting too frightened about the big bangs outside. What's November the 5th? Why, why do we have fireworks? Well, we have nothing to celebrate because um, unfortunately this is all about a guy who tried to blow up our Houses of Parliament and, and kill all the, um, all the uh, representatives, the MPs as we call them here. And unfortunately this guy failed and so we still have the same corrupt Parliament and that is in most countries around the world but it's a shame actually because this guy, Guy Fawkes, you know, could have done us all a favour but anyway, you can probably hear the sounds of banging. It's working. Anyway, what's I'm talking about today? Well, I'm talking about, what's this um, subject? It's um, don't make me sick. And it's not really about health in that saying, because it's an old saying from my youth, don't make me sick. It's a reply um, when somebody said something we disagreed with. Um, there's something, as I say, nothing to do with sickness or illness. It's just a colloquialism. So if a person said, oh, you know, hey, listen to this music, it's really great. If I didn't like it, I would go, oh, don't make me sick. And that's just a, a, method, a way of disagreeing with somebody. So I'm going to use it because I was thinking today, oh, reading, in fact, um, a, an article from a, um, a guy who is an expert on, um, uh, on health, on occupational health and safety. And he said um, the, the wearing of face masks in occupational health was only ever recommended for short periods when you're doing a job that could cause some um, problems uh, breathing in tox toxicity and it's nothing to do with um, health when a, a doctor wears a mask in um, the surgery although some doctors don't even wear masks in surgery but if a doctor wears a mask in surgery what they're doing is not protecting himself from the patients he's protecting the patient from him because they've got an open wound there and of course um but i mean if if a doctor was just uh, checking you out and you didn't have any open wounds they wouldn't wear a mask they know you don't need to wear a mask and, and it doesn't pass these things on but this guy's saying it's worse than that because wearing a mask can cause o oxygen deprivation and it can cause cytokine respiratory storms because you're not getting a proper respiration taking place. Worse still, children who suffer wearing such masks uh, all, over all day and every day will certainly experience some form of brain damage, lack of oxygen getting to the brain. And I've read some doctors agreeing with this uh, with very uh, worrying concern. Uh, I've got a link in my newsletter that you can click on to read the full article and all that. I'm just giving you an overview. But the, the, the fact of, of seeing um, children um, wearing masks really is, I really call it child abuse, and it is. Um, but it's child abuse, not just from their breathing, but from the psychological, because their parents or people around them are wearing masks. And that's not how, how human beings work. And, you know, lots of things make me sick, but truly make me sick from the point of view I find disagreeable, doesn't make me ill. It makes me sick from my uh, childhood um, uh, colloquialism that, that things make me sick. And what makes me sick is the pharma medical criminal cartel. They find billions, billions of dollars or pounds, whatever you want to call them, euros, um, but are still being allowed to give our governments advice on my health. Wait a minute, criminals, the medical pharma criminal cartel who are fined billions for their crimes are being allowed to give advice to governments. What else makes me sick? Well, the same criminal medical criminal cartel who are fined billions for their crimes are being allowed to produce untested vaccines. Uh, and untested, they have because of a few months relatively they've been working on these things. Normally it takes two years minimum or longer because you need to check the long-term side effects. So they can't test it on a few people, a few healthy people, even though they're getting side, side effects with those. But they've been absolved of all criminal and financial responsibility. So no matter how much harm they do with them, they, they, they get away with it. And that, that's, that's perfect crime. <laughs> you know, 
when the government gives you a pass. Um, I'm also really, you know, made sick by governments recommending flu and other vaccines instead of vitamin D3, vitamin C, zinc, selenium and magnesium to support the immune system to avoid flu and most diseases. But when, when you're taking those supplements I've just mentioned there, you more than half the rate of disease, half the rate of cancer, half the rate of heart disease, lung disease, and of course, infections from flu and other things. The studies are there. I've, I've watched these studies for years and years and years. Everything I ever say is what I've seen from studies, not from what governments say or don't say. The, um, they're just about uh, recommending um, the UK government and the Scottish government that they're going to start recommending or supplying uh, vitamin D3 to people that are at risk. And I thought, wonderful. But then I had a look and they're recommending 10 micrograms, which is about 400, five, four, five, 600, uh, 600 IUs. Now, I'm going to tell you that I recommend minimum of 6,000. I take 8,000 and quite often I'll take 10,000 IUs. Dr. Fauci, our famous Dr. Fauci from the USA, takes 6,000 IUs of vitamin D and 2,000 milligrams of vitamin C. Why would you do less than that? Why would they give it to people? Do they want it to fail? Do they want to turn around in a year and say, no, we gave them free vitamin D3 and it's not really made any difference. Um, just as many people are dying. Yeah, because you're giving them a tiny speck. If you go out in the sun at uh, midday for 12 o'clock for one hour, you will produce in your body 10 to 20,000, 10 to 20,000 IUs of vitamin D throughout your body. And they're going to give them 500, 600 IUs of vitamin D in a tablet, which is not as good as the sun. So therefore it probably will get half that. They're just either stupid or they're criminals as well as the uh, pharma medical cartel, which is why they're w working with them. Why would you work with criminals that are fined for all their crimes? Uh, the thing that other makes me sick is that the Swedish results from no lockdown are fabulous. Now I know in the early days they didn't uh, protect the elderly people in care homes and they just didn't take anything and there was they had quite a few deaths. But since then they've been uh, shielding the people in care homes and their death, they have no lockdown, no um, uh, deaths from, or hardly any deaths from COVID-19 to speak of and only a few cases as they're called, you know, I, 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 mentioned before this cases concept is ridiculous because the PCR test doesn't work so they're just making it up as they go along but what also makes me sick and I'm 74 is I've never had a lesson in my life by schools or governments um, educating me how to actually stay healthy to get healthy never had a lesson about uh, exercise a proper lesson structured with, with a, a, a under, you know, an exam at the end of it um, about nutrients that we need, um, about not eating um, factory processed food, microwave foods, junk foods, nothing at all. You know, in 74 years, don't they want me to get healthy? Don't, don't, don't they plan for me to be healthy? Or is it they make more money? The, the, the criminal pharma cartel makes more money because if we're sick, it must be. I mean, they seem to like draconian laws, the government, so why don't they just ban all junk food? It's easy, you know, because they they're throwing people out of work all over the UK and America and, and uh, Australia and everywhere. They, they don't care about, if you like, banning things, so why not ban junk food? Maybe that doesn't fit in. Maybe they want us to be sick. Maybe they want to control us by, you know, by being sick. What else, what else makes me sick is they're locking down the world with these martial laws that take away all our rights and freedom, all at the behest of the pharma medical criminal cartel. It, our prime minister has two members of the criminal cartel either side of him on TV 
telling us that we're going to be locked down for our own good. Well, why, why would we associate with such people? But we have no choice because they say they're going to find us, the police are going to come around and arrest us. What's going on in the world? It's not for our own good. It can't be for our own good because it would be giving us 10,000 IUs of vitamin D3 and, and 2,000 milligrams of vitamin C and zinc and, and uh, selenium and all the rest of it. If they wanted us to be healthy, if they wanted to protect us, if they cared about us, instead of spending hundreds of billions and in the USA trillions of dollars um, trying to uh, keep the economy going because they've closed all the economy down. It can't be the money. It must be another reason why they don't care. But, the, but you know, they've also started their plan to control everybody via facial recognition, mobile apps, implanted chips. And all this has been tested successfully in China. You know, you, if you don't follow what's happening on China, you won't know what's happening here tomorrow. And last but not least, it gets me sick, is the lack of science in all the training that medical doctors have. Now, I know that some doctors do know about vitamin D3, vitamin C, and they may have recommended it slightly, um, but they can't really uh, prescribe it, which is a legal thing in the UK. A doctor is legally able to prescribe you anything that um, they believe will get you healthy. But when doctors do it, they get sacked. That's... <laughs> So that's that's why they're frightened. They won't tell you too much actually on this, but you know, I know doctors personally, and they tell me that's the truth. That's the real reason. So, do you need to supplement vitamin D? In, you know, in the winter, of course you do. I've got a. <clears throat> Let me just go past that lot. Yeah, is a is a good little chart here that I've got in my um, uh, newsletter. And it shows you um, the, what what happens that the more vitamin D you have in your body, the healthier you um, become, especially over the winter there. And if you look, whenever your body is low in vitamin D, and that's in the center, you can you don't have to see the detail, but you can see the blue lines in the middle. When your body is low in vitamin D3, that's when infection strikes. It doesn't strike um, any other time, and so. Uh, what should you do? You should keep that vitamin D line, that big, that blue line across the top. Don't let it dip down. Keep it really high in your body, and that will protect you. You'll be as protected from it in the summer as uh, you uh, should be in the winter. Okay, where do you get vitamin D three from? Well, you get it from the sun, as you, you, you should know. If you're black, brown. Um, other other, other um, Asians, then you don't get as much from the sun as you need to, and uh, you have to get out in the sun a lot to get it. So anybody that's black, brown, uh, or Asian needs to supplement high doses. The the, the top high dose is ten thousand, absolutely minimum, uh, because they're at greater risk, and it's a fact of life. If you look at the um, statistics on um, uh, on lung disease and all the other uh, premature death it's it's really bad for anybody with low vitamin d and that's what i'm talking about with with vitamin d low vitamin d i'm not talking about um um uh, other factors such as the, the 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 bad diet and stuff like that just being deficient in vitamin d is enough to shorten your life so you need to get it um in um So you can't really get that D in the food, and that's that's a fact of life. There's a few foods with, with a little bit in, but really, really, you need to be getting your D from um, the sun or in supplement form. Yes, you can get it in um, uh, uh, fish oil and uh, cod liver oil, um, but it's it's still not that much. Not the amounts that we need. Yes, you could get it in the sun if you if you were out there every day in the when when the sun was shining for for sure and uh, but you've got to get skin out to the sun and you mustn't put suntan oil on or, or suntan cream because suntan cream will block the production of vitamin d3 don't believe that it's you you need suntan cream for protection against cancer it's d3 that protects you against cancer not 
any cream because those are toxic creams as well in fact there are studies to show that the more creams you put on the worse uh, risk you've got of cancer so you need to really think about that okay to activate d3 you need um, two things one is vitamin k and that's really important you must have vitamin k um, in your diet and if you're eating a junk diet that's breakfast cereal um, pizza for lunch and uh, I don't know what you know pasta for dinner <laughs> you know I'm just trying to think of the worst foods you can eat if you if you have those three then you're just not going to get well you won't get any nutrition anyway you're, you're you know you, you, you really are going to be in serious trouble one day eating such foods and but the, the foods that have got high levels of K uh, in them which is quite easy to get is kale you get 4,000 the daily value now when it's when anybody tells you the daily value always double it and treble it and the reason is because the daily value comes from the um, the criminal pharma cartel and of course they don't want you to take things that will make you super healthy they take things that make you super unhealthy so even though this is for for uh, 400 percent on kale of the daily value of vitamin K um, you're getting a hundred percent as far as I'm concerned so just a portion of uh, kale a day and you can see the other figures I'm not going to go th read through them all but there's lots of things kale mustard greens cabbage Brussels sprouts broccoli spinach I mean all the great things that, that, that I have you know I, I I've had all those today in a soup you know my wife makes lots of soup and um, we have stir fries um, so usually and salads usually lunch will, and dinner will have those things we don't always have them first thing in the morning we you know we make a breakfast of nuts and seeds and um, and fruit and some um, uh, coconut cream anyway but those that those are the those are the things for vitamin K now you can get vitamin K also called K2 but because K2 is extracted from fermented food, you, you need to take it as a supplement. Uh, but it's good to take take both anyway. So getting K, K, which is K1 and K2 as a supplement. But you need it to activate the D3. So without that, you don't have the proper activity of D3 to protect you from cancer, heart disease, lung disease and infections. Uh, the other critical cofactor is magnesium. that's magnesium and um, magnesium is a, a it's a cofactor of, of vitamin D3 uh, but it's difficult to get it in uh, diet and food for two reasons one is it's a mineral now when you get vitamins from the vegetables that we're just saying the, the vitamins are actually manufactured inside the vegetable it doesn't come from the soil it, it, it manufactures it so um, you know you, you're going to always get roughly what they say but when it comes to minerals you're only going to get as many minerals in the food as is in the soil because if it ain't in the soil then it can't be in the plant because the plant only gets it from the roots of the soil so uh, and because it's uh, two things it's deficient in the soil um, then you're not going to get it also the recommended daily amount as I say is is too small for super health it's fine for just about keeping you alive but I don't want to keep you alive I want to keep you super alive and um, and, and really just living the life when you're 74 not being an old person and, and bent and stooped and um, with all sorts of diseases and so um, you still need to supplement with magnesium now just quickly tell you the foods reputedly high in magnesium when I say reputedly it depends on the soil that they're grown in you, you can't magic magnesium if it's not in the soil wait that's uh, sorry magnesium is magic tell trust me because it's just a wonder thing in your, in your body but you, you can't magic it so if it's not in the soil it's not in the food but if it is in the soil you'll get uh, magnesium in avocados nuts legumes that's um, uh, uh, peas beans um, uh, lentils that type of stuff uh, bananas uh, leafy greens dark chocolate whoa <laughs> your dark chocolate is really healthy for you but 
chocolate without sugar in you you can make if you make if you look on my really healthy foods.com website really healthy foods.com website you'll see fabulous recipes um, my wife has, has, has done on chocolate stuff because we like chocolate so she makes her own chocolate she'll make her own chocolate bombs and chocolate uh, all sorts of cookies all sorts of things and they're all super healthy uh, and the last thing is seeds uh, most of the seeds have got magnesium in them again if it's in the soil if it's not in the soil it's not going to happen so the biggest killers in the world it's not COVID-19 COVID-19 is it's a joke it's it's hardly killing anybody don't care what do not listen to governments do not listen to the media it's hardly killing anybody because the number of people dying this year is exactly the same as 2018 and nobody ever mentioned having lockdowns in 2018 nobody ever mentioned uh, destroying all the, the, everybody's jobs and whatever so it's all lies but the biggest killers are real heart disease lung disease cancer diabetes type 2 those are real those are the things that you need to prevent by having all the supplements if you have them all now then these are the books that you need to download. I mean, you should download these books anyway because the, the books are preventative. But of course, if they prevent them, then that's a plan that you would, if you've already got it, because that's what you need to do. Because if it can prevent it, then it must um, be able to uh, reverse it. Makes sense? Yeah. So you can download these books um, in the newsletter, but you can go to our website, um, which is a link on the website, on, on sorry, in my newsletter. And, and read all about it as, as we say it's quite you know quite straightforward every day people call me or email me right and say I wasn't quite sure it really would do what you said Robert but it does I'm not going to sit sit well stand here actually because I don't sit down as you know but <laughs> I'm not going to stand here and say it works when it doesn't it works but you have to get the detail right anything you want to do to perfection you have to get the detail right you don't just like go oh i want to try this i want to try that and then don't do it you cut to do it to the detail the de the, the you know the, the success is in detail of everything you do whether you're doing a business if you want to pass exams if you want to take up a new um uh, if you want to learn golf and you've never played golf before you've got to take the detail you've got to really learn every single thing about how that golf works actually i don't play golf but if i if i did i would go and get lessons and i'd find out exactly how to hit that ball how to stand how to swing how to do all the things that you see people doing because that's the, the detail and it's the same with getting healthy you get the download the book you follow the book what you've got to do in detail and stick to the plan do you ever break the rules yeah occasionally but it's not gonna you know once a month if you have a pizza you know once every two months if you you know have some fries it's not going to kill you but if you do it day after day week after week month after month and you're doing quite a few of the bad things as well then it will and especially if you're not taking your nutrients so that's what you've got to do you've got to get that detail right because those are the things that re really will take your life away they really really will people do it Mi 50 million people die from mostly from those things in the world 50 million not the 500,000 or 700,000 or a million people that have died worldwide from this COVID oh, I nearly said COVID crap then but that's a it's not a really nice thing to say but you get my point actually because sometimes I don't sweat at all actually so it you know I, get, I just stop myself but it is really lies all the COVID stuff I'm not saying COVID doesn't exist flu exists and it's because but it only exists in people with weak immune systems it doesn't you know affect me i don't have injections i don't have these things why because i take all the stuff so you do the same and, and see where you go okay it's like as i said if you go to play want to learn to play but golf or tennis or whatever with I'm, I'm talking about things with lots of techniques and little things that you need to do to to do a good job you have to have a coach 
you do you, you know you could stand there with that ball and hit it at any time you like but you're not going to go anywhere you're just going to be hopeless with it um unless you've got a coach we have coaches so if you need help you just um click the link for the uh, my good health club and make a date with a, a coach and, and they'll, they'll coach you through and hold your hand to uh, metaphorically to um to get you through that and um it works and they, they 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 love doing it because these are all professional qualified um nutritionists and they know what they're doing but they also know that in the end it's the detail that you need to do and they'll, they'll give you the help anyway but you can help me as well my job is to uh, not just to inform and, and you know rant about the, the pharma medical cartel it's to get you healthy and keep you healthy and so but i need you help from you because i am being blocked by facebook if, if you look at watching this on facebook now you will not be able to share these things to other people you'll try to share it and say that you know this is not possible to share this post or whatever i can't remember what they say but you need to uh, so in the in my newsletter go to the bottom all the possible ways to share and, and and get the news out when you get a newsletter share it to all your friends um all right some will say what's all this rubbish uh, that's okay you know um why, why have you sent this to me or they might believe in in what the governments are saying about covid and and stuff like that doesn't matter just go yeah i just thought it was um if it was of any interest to you if it's not you know just um but but do share because you never know when you'll save a life you don't know when that person is going to get some bad news from the doctor and um if they if they've at least read something um they might go hey do you remember you told me about that guy or that book or whatever you never know and so just share and share and share just do that go to bottom of my newsletter and that's it for my rant today what, what anything not i'm back to the start there you go okay so get with it get with the program get with um really about um uh oh actually no can i just do one more thing because i've got i'm getting clever with the uh, with the old um there we go at the bottom of the newsletter you see all the, the supplements that, that I, I've formulated and I, I recommend and you'll see all the vitamin C's there you'll see the daily immune protection which has got seven um, what have we got there oh olive leaf um, extra olive leaf is just one of those things wonderful things for the immune system with zinc in it as well um, we've got um, the script assist that's our super probiotic from soil based organisms um, vitamin D3, uh, 4,000 I use, uh, hydrosol silver, um, and hydrosol silver is extremely good if you want, have to go for um, a, a PCR test for COVID, spray some down your throat and gargle with it as long as possible, spray some up your nose and breathe it in and, um, and that will get you past there just in case you've got any, any because uh, it's not really after COVID, it's just after um, certain uh, molecules and um, vitamin d3 and k2 there and of course the magic m magnesium which is the the super magnesium that you need for uh, putting on your body all over your body as much as possible as many times as possible because the more you have it you'll feel the difference put it on your neck before you go to bed and your neck and shoulders and if you have tension you'll find that melt away put it on your feet and if you've got athlete's foot or fungal infections on the foot that will go away if you get cramp put it on your legs that will go away and it's doing more than that but that's just giving you a clue that you're actually getting a benefit from it take some tablets of magnesium and it will never do what i've just said it just doesn't do it right really is at the end of the show folks okay take care i shall exit gracefully <laughs>